Never been up here before, not sure where this goes. Probably a dead body. Cool spot. Oh, it comes up behind dive shop. There's a scuba shop. I don't think that goes anywhere. That's a glass, god damn it. Ah, fucking trees. I don't know if I can get down over here or not. Got me right in the fucking face. There we go. <laughs> Getting a little warm. Freaking fogging up in here. Everybody, I don't know how good my audio is going to be yet. We'll see what I do in edit. But 
finally got around to getting me a GoPro. Um, got took the drift off. Uh, still got it. Probably gonna use it uh, up here or something or tail tail cam. Just keep it as a spare. And uh, yeah, just finally I've had it for I've had it mounted for about a week now, but my uh, adapter just finally came in today or uh, last night actually, so that I have audio now because uh, I tried to. I tried to talk early, uh, the other day with it, um, but even with the uh, pro shot mount right in front of my mouth, uh, you could just barely hear me through the uh, through the waterproof case. And I didn't feel like putting the skeleton door on. But yeah, so I have a GoPro now. Um, main reason why I did it, I guess, would be uh, one for audio quality. But also, uh, that drift is just, I mean, it, it takes good video, it's a good camera, but man, it is freaking finicky on some memory cards. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, because uh, like when I bought the drift, I bought it with a, uh, what was recommended uh, on their website was the SDXC memory card. So I bought one, and it wouldn't work. And I went through like six freaking memory cards trying to find one. I finally found one that would work with it. And even that one's iffy sometimes. If I don't uh, delete the files just right, because actually I can't delete the files on my computer. I have to, uh, I actually got to plug in the video card, or plug the card into my computer, get all my videos off, put it back in the camera, and then use the camera to delete it. If I don't do that, I spend about a half hour powering it on, powering it off. Uh, un, you know, pulling the battery, put the battery in, pull the battery, put the battery in, trying to just get the camera to fucking reset. And it gets really damn annoying. Why is this guy walking further out of the road? Fucking weird ass. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, and, I, and after reviewing some of the initial videos on this GoPro, the, the video quality is a little better. Now, granted, I'm running on different settings. Um, but, I mean, you get the bigger view, and plus I can mount it up here on the front. That's why I, that's one reason why I liked it, is I, instead of having it on the side of my helmet, like I had to drift, I, got the, I went ahead and got this Pro Shot mount, which I love, by the way, and got it mounted right here on my chin bar. And I've got it set on uh, 1080 at 60 on Super View, and I'm loving it so far. I mean, I'm sure the uh, video won't be as crisp once I edit it down, but uh, yeah, the raw footage is amazing. See how the sound goes. Like I said, I, uh, I actually ordered a 90 degree adapter on Amazon, but after reading reviews after I ordered it, that was smart. I went ahead and said screw it and got the GoPro. It was 20 bucks on their website with free two day shipping, and it came with some little GoPro bag which was free, so whatever. Uh, and it actually came in on the same day, even though I ordered the one from Amazon three days sooner. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and got this. I drilled a hole in the waterproof case, two holes actually, filed it out. Now I've actually got this really super snug uh, fitting there. So I'm, I'm thinking it, uh, obviously it's not waterproof, but I'm hoping it, it, it seems tight enough where uh, I think I'll be, I think I'll be all right. You know, if I get caught in the rain or anything like that, but that's all I really wanted. But yeah, so I've got that, uh, got that mic, or I got that mic adapter, which, kind of stupid that you have to have one in the first place but whatever um, but I already had my uh, my drift mic in my helmets and so I just went ahead and plugged that in to see how it worked and I just walked around the house last night and it sounded pretty good so uh, this is the first actual test with it so we'll see what happens what the hell is this guy doing reviews about the GoPro uh, and I think one of the ones that kind of sold me on it was uh, I believe it was Chase on two wheels because he actually has experience with both cameras directly and uh, as he was saying you know the quality the video quality is slightly better on the GoPro which yeah I'll, I'll, I'll uh, agree with that but then the main thing he was saying he actually demonstrated firsthand was yeah the friggin audio is amazingly better on the GoPro and which I like because that was one problem 
that I had with the drift is, uh, you know, when I got, uh, when I was stopped, it was super, I could, you could barely hear me. Uh, when I was moving, I was super freaking loud because I was speaking up to get up talk over the bike. Um, and it had no adjustment. I mean, the, the only adjustment was high, medium, or low. I put it on its lowest setting, and even then, you know, if there was a, a loud noise or if I raised my voice a little, I mean, it was just crackle your damn speakers. Where, again, not sure how this one's gonna do yet. I won't know until I try it. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, I know I was playing with it last night in the house. It, um, I was talking normally, and then I raised my voice pretty loud, and it sounded almost the same when I played it back, so. So we'll see. But so far I'm liking it. Um, it's a lot lighter than the Drift. Uh, mind you, I had, a, I had a, a Ghost S. So, I mean, the settings are close to the same. Uh, at least on paper. In reality, this one now, uh, I guess I'm going to update. This one's going up to 4K. Um, at least it has the option to on my uh, on the uh, GoPro app. But I'm running, like I said, 1080, 60. Um, Super view. The uh, the Ghost S, I believe it maxed out at uh, it maxed out at the same at 1080 60 with a 160 field of view. I thought it was pretty comparable to the, this is this is the uh, three plus black edition. reason why I got this one is I got a friggin' screaming deal on it. Um, <clears throat> I was looking on eBay because I've been thinking about getting a GoPro for a while. Actually, since I, since I got the drift and had so much problems with the uh, memory card, I've been thinking about getting a GoPro. And uh, plus, they're, they're everybody's saying you know, that the GoPros, you know, they've uh, fixed, the, fixed the firmware on them so they're more stable and all that. Which uh, So far, I've had no problems with memory cards. Actually, the memory card that I'm recording this on right now is the one that my drift, when I plug it into it, completely shuts it down makes it completely non-functional the only way to reset the fucking camera is to un is to pull the battery out and uh, this one yeah I plugged it in runs perfect plays back perfect and everything we'll see if it stays that way but uh, so far signs are good so my fuck that shit up come on you not fast bike this will be the next test let's see how good it does at speed uh, not that my bike does a lot of that we get up here to the passing zone we'll see uh how it sounds a little higher speed if i can make any Mm-hmm. <laughs> 